Hey girlies, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, hello, welcome. My name is Jennifer and you've landed here on a ready to wear affair where I discuss all things fashion, beauty, just overall lifestyle and just anything I feel like sharing with you guys. So it's been a while since I've done a styling video. I think the last styling videos that I did were towards the rock collection and all pieces I copped and grads from the H&M collaboration that happened a couple months back earlier this spring. And you all seem to love it. I think it was one of my highest view videos like at the time and I was like so happy. And you guys have really been liking my like sit down chit chat videos, like my shoe collection or like my bag collection video. So thank you so much for the love on those videos. My little tiny little channel is growing surely and it's just giving me a lot more motivation and I just I just can't thank you guys enough for all the support the love the shares the comments keep it going it keeps me going <laughs> so please go ahead and like this video if you haven't done so yet it helps me grow and uh, subscribe to the channel so you'll get more videos from me and you'll be notified once they go live but yeah so let's get into today's video so kicking things off with this first look I have here this look is one of my ugh, favorite fall looks it is such a hit every time i wear i think i've only worn it outside once honestly because i got it a couple months ago and sometime in the early spring and there was a great discount and so i like jumped on the opportunity while it was still being offered and um i wore it to brunch just one time the one time i wore it out i wore it with the Givenchy horn heel sandals that i have the gold ones and if you've seen my shoe collection video, you'd see that in there and a couple of other previous videos I've worn it to style certain looks too. So it's definitely not new to this channel. But I wore that whole look together with this bag here, my favorite bag of all time, the Fendachi baguette. And the girlies loved it. Like all my friends that I walked in, all my friends were like, oh my God, I love your look, I love your outfit. And it's just so comfortable, so sexy, so chic, and like it's giving Tomb Raider like Laura Croft. Um, if you guys know, you know. If you know, you know. And I love it. It makes me feel empowered. It makes me feel like I just feel good. It sucks you in. Like it's very stretchy. There's like so much stretch to this dress, which I love. But it's like a snug stretch, and it really sucks you in. Like I feel like it really hides a lot of the the, the lumps, and it just kind of smooths you out and gives your it just gives you, it just really shows off your figure in all the best ways. Um, it really shows the booty booty um, nicely. <laughs> and it just, overall, it's a great snug fit and it just looks so good. I don't know anybody who doesn't look good in this. I recently got this for one of my really close friends for her birthday. And I got it for her because she saw it on me that day. I wore it and she was like, I love it. And so I got it for her for her birthday and she absolutely loved it. So. Get this for your friends, get this for Christmas, you know, the girlies love this and I am so glad I went with this. This dress is by Something by Sanji and Monroe Steel. They do collaborations, I think once or twice a year, and this is their most recent one. It's like the winter, fall, um, I forget the name of the collection, but I can post it up here when I find it. And they had some beautiful pieces, mostly black. I think it was called like Something Noir, the collection and you just can't go wrong with black. They both had a summer collab collaboration the summer before this collection dropped, and there was a white sleeveless one of this. It was like the same thing, but sleeveless. So like a racer back tank, or just like a tank dress, so sleeveless, and it was white. So the same thing, but white. The belt was white, the pockets were white, and it was just ugh, amazing, and I missed out on that. So I was like, I have to get, when I saw this, and they dropped this for the winter version, of the, the collaboration, I was like, I have to get this because I missed out on the white. But yeah, I love this dress. So comfortable, so good. I love that it's the maxi length. You know, I kept the whole Tomb Raider vibes and, you know, kept the look, I kept the black going with the shoes and the bag. And then the gold in the bag, I decided to pair it with my beautiful Paula Mendoza pieces. I love Paula Mendoza. She is a Colombian um, jewelry or jeweler designer. She's a Colombian jewel. She's a Colombian jeweler or at least a jewelry artist. And she has her own brand named Paula Mendoza. This choker is also Paula Mendoza and I just am obsessed with her pieces. There's a couple more things I'm eyeing that I definitely want to get. So 
yeah the shoes are Bottega Veneta these are I guess Bottega Veneta sorry these are new in I got these like this past week so I wore them for the first time this weekend and they're so comfortable I need to make a video about like I guess my own popular opinions about like brands and fashion and things things like that I have said a few times on my channel that I'm not a huge, like Bottega Veneta is cool and I do like Bottega Veneta. I have a couple of pieces of Bottega Veneta, so I'm not saying I don't like them and I don't think I ever said that, but like the way the girls be lusting and like gushing over Bottega Veneta, I've never had that same passion. I mean, to me, most of the things that I see are like a lot of the trendy pieces from the brand, I guess are more on the simple basic side and so I just never understood why a lot of people were obsessed with it or the brand uh, but honestly Bottega Veneta has a lot of fun funky quirky pieces too and that's kind of what I'm trying to focus on and so I have these other two shoes in my collection that are more like statement shoes and then these ones are very basic but I needed a black basic shoe in my collection because I didn't have any and I also need more open toe shoes so this fit the bill and it's so comfortable like one of my I think right now probably my most I think it's my most most comfortable shoe I'm like thinking quickly yeah this these are my most comfortable pair of shoes ever right now and like it's literally like you forget you're walking in heels they're so comfortable and so i know i understand what the girlies are talking about because i guess the only one pair of bottega veneta, veneta shoe that i had to reference was for the green ones the stretch um cord ones and those are a death trap for your toes and your feet so um, yeah, like everyone, everyone who I know who's owned those shoes are like, these shoes are literally impossible to wear. I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> I, I already did. And so let's not waste time doing that again. But so that's the only reference point of reference I had for Bottega Veneta and Bottega Veneta shoes. And now that I've collected, I have three now. Now I'm like, okay, I see what the girlies are talking about. It's very comfortable. The quality is really impeccable. But yeah. So this dress, back to this dress, I love the cutout detail. It's like so sexy. It's like, like just this mid-drift area here where it's like just above the belly button, just under the bust. I love that. I love showing this place off with some nice tight abs. It would really, really make this look, look just like snatch, but um, we'll get there eventually. There's still hope. Not this summer though. <laughs> and these pockets, these util it's like a utility belt that this dress comes with. It's detachable so you can completely remove it and wear it without it. It's like these two giant utility pockets that are in the front and you can kind of shift it and adjust it, which is really cool. Like I just love the flexibility and the options you have with this dress. So you can really shift it around and they're functional. So yes, yeah, so you can put your phone in here, you know, and they're really big and deep. So yeah, I love that. But yeah, so this dress is definitely still available on the Something by Sanji website. I'll obviously link everything in this video below. But definitely grab this dress. I think, you know, if it ever does sell out, like, they're, this is it. They're not going to make any more. So definitely, like, run. Don't walk. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and also, what do you guys think of my braids? I feel like braids, I love braids in the summer for obvious reasons, but they don't last, they don't look fresh for long. Especially like this is like the, um, what's this style called? Everyone's calling this the um, goddess braids or boho or something like that. These are the boho braids where it's like, you have a lot of like leave out to make it just look more bohemian. And I love it, I love it. I'm gonna get it again, but it's, it's not low maintenance. Box braids are very much low maintenance. The and um, I just feel like they just they just don't stay as fresh as long. But I absolutely love it. It's very boho, very ethereal, and um, yeah, I love it for me. I love it for the summer. I recently came back from Cancun and like um, got these done just just before we flew out and had a great time. I took a few clips and some footage. It was very humid there and my camera kept fogging up and it was driving me crazy. So at, the, at this certain point I stopped vlogging because I had every intention of vlogging and I did a little bit, but like 
the humid, foggy lens just was driving me crazy, and so I like eventually just like stopped bringing my camera everywhere. But um, I have another upcoming trip uh, in a few months, I guess. So I'll tr I'll I'll definitely vlog that. Um, so you guys can all like come with me. But I'm super excited for that trip, and we'll talk more about it later. But yeah, this is the look. Let me know what you think. Oh, also I love the slit detail here. And I love that it's like not too high of a slit either. So it's still very much giving, you know, sexy but not too much skin showing. Cause you got the skin here, little scoop neck. So yeah, I think it's a great balance of like some skin but also like cover it up a little bit. But yeah. Also don't you love the jingle of this, this cuff? Love the jingle. The choker doesn't jingle though. <laughs> Also, I have these shoes that I opted to also style this look with if you wanted to go for a more comfortable look. Picked these shoes up from Bloomingdale's outlet yesterday and they were such a great price. They were $25. And I meant for them to be a replacement to my work shoes. I have these work loafers that I've literally worn to the ground. They're ripping apart at the seams. I've taken them to the cobbler to fix once and it's already falling apart again. And before it breaks and like disintegrates while I'm walking, <laughs> I was like, let me find a replacement pair. And I got these loafers and I just love them. They're super edgy, but also like preppy, but chic at the same time. So I feel like this is a nice um, option for like a fashionable, comfortable and casual look if you still wanna be given fashion, but not boring. <laughs> and I love the gold, like I guess harness, I don't know what this is called. I guess you could call it like, it's like a gold, I'll just call it gold hardware. And the little fringe um, detail as well. And I just feel like it really makes this look more um, comfortable and edgy. And I love it. So another option for you girlies that are just like, ugh, I can't with heels. This is a great alternative to still keep the look very, very chic and fabulous while prioritizing your comfort. But yeah, that's the look. Let me know what you think. So for this next look, I have this really cute two-piece set I got from Nanushka. Now, I absolutely love Nanushka. Nanushka is one of my favorite, like all-time favorite knitwear brands. I have a couple of her sweater dresses. No, I have one sweater dress, a sweater skirt, and maybe one other thing. Yeah, so I have a couple of pieces from her brand, from the brand, and I absolutely am obsessed. So this is the newest addition to my wardrobe, and I love it. It's black and white, or maybe more, more black and cream. It's definitely more of a cream. There's a little bit of a yellowish tint to it. So yeah, I would say cream. And it's midi length, the skirt is midi length, and I just love it. It's super casual and comfortable, at least. I, I consider it as casual because it's comfortable. And um, it's made of terry cloth, so it's that towel kind of like material that you have like, you like see like robes made out of or like Versace, like the Versace robes. Like it's like that towel terry cloth material. So it's definitely not something you'd wanna wear in the summer. I would say these last two pieces, so the first, something by Sanji and Monroe Steel collaboration dress that I wore, the black one, and then this set are more winter, fall appropriate clothing. Um, but I'm styling it for, your, for you all here so you can see just how it looks. Plus it's still available, both pieces are still available. So like I want to show you guys how I'm styling them now, now that they are still 
available for purchase because I feel like if I wait till the fall or winter, it'll be sold out and then people will be mad at me that I didn't link the um, items. So get them now, they're available and they're on sale. At least this is on sale. And I styled it here. I kept the casual thing going by putting on these loafers again. And I grabbed a cute little mini bag from Brandon Blackwood. And I opted for blue because I wanted a pop of color and I just figured this would be the best item to style it with because it's so cute and like mini and little. And I'm a sucker for a top handle. And then I also put on this belt that you've seen already from the Monroe Steel Sanji, something by Sanji dress that I wore earlier, this utility like belt. And I feel like it looks so, it pairs so well with this, this two piece set. And that's the beauty of like accessorizing and like having like just different types of like accessories that you can mix and match and pair with different looks. And it just makes the look very different and like it makes it more you and it just makes it a little more unique. And so I love how it came out. I think it pairs very well with it. If you wanna make things a little more edgy, I think that that's what these shoes and uh, belt do and I love it. Now the dress is meant to be worn, um, I think the other way where the zipper is in front and the back is the front. <laughs> but I like, I like how it looks like, I, looks how, I like how clean it looks without the zipper in front. Uh, I'll pop up a picture of the model who styles it on the website that you can purchase it from, but they all wear it in the front. I personally prefer it in the, in the back, the zipper, because I don't know, it just gives the front a more clean look and I like a back slit. Like I just love the back slit vibe more so than the front slit vibe, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so that's the look. Um, this is in a size small. I'm sorry for sizing for reference. I'm five foot six. I wear size 10, US 10, which is an EU 41 in shoes. And this dress is a small. The top is a small as well as the bottom. And the something by Sanji Times Monroe steel dress is also a small. So. I stuck to my true size for both looks. So definitely stick to your true size. I, I would highly suggest that. But yeah. And then I also added on these Bottega dupes, the Bottega like teardrop dupes for a nice little accessory on the ears. Whereas I swapped out the um, choker from the previous look with these instead, so. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like without the belt. I do want you guys to see how the dress is on me, like as is. So this is the look without the added accessory of the utility belt, and I swapped the shoes for these Bottega heels that I wore previously. And this is a lot more of a simple look. So if you wanna go for a more simple, a little more clean vibe, this is the way to go. And I kept the skirt zipper side on the back because I, I mentioned earlier I just like how it looks more it just makes the um, front facing part of the outfit just more clean and uh, I love it I love the shoes with them by the way I love these shoes because they have a toe like a toe um, slip not a toe slip I guess a toe ring um, where you can put your toe in and it just adds extra, extra security so that you're feet don't slip and slide. I think for me, one thing I would say about the Wotega stretch mules overall as a shoe style is, um, or just mules in general, like open sandal mules where it's like one thick slab of like material and then like a complete open toe. I feel like your feet slip and slide a lot in them. And I, I love that these have this toe like little toe rings, toe support thing, because it really locks your feet in place. Like my feet do not slip and slide at all. And I love that. I just, ugh, I can't rave about how comfortable these shoes are. Ugh, love, and I love the heel. The heel shape is so cute. They're just, heel height is perfect. They're just my new favorite black go-to shoes. But yeah, and I got these from Ukes for 280. They were the last pair, it sold out. Um, but I'll try and link some of course or other websites that sell this shoe. It's a pretty old shoe. Um, I'll try and find them and link them for you all. But yeah.
this next look here is a pretty old look. None of the pieces, at least the top and the bottom, are new. The top is from Jacquemus and the bottom is from Koss. I would say I got these like at least four or five years ago, these pieces. Maybe the pants are two years ago. But yeah, oldies but goodies for sure. And I kept the same loafer shoes because I just think they're so cool. They're such a cool, casual way to look preppy but edgy. And this bag here is the Balenciaga Antigona bag, which I covered in my purse collection or handbag collection video. So go check that out if you haven't. And it's one of my first luxury, actually it's my first luxury bag. So it's definitely sentimental, never getting rid of it. And I love it. It's small, like this is considered a small, but it's like the perfect to me medium bag where it fits all your essentials. And yeah, this is a very like, I would say it's, um, it's like business, but not business, because like obviously, obviously it's a crop top and there's all this midriff here showing. The back has also a cutout detail, which I love. And then you kind of fasten the back using these like um, hoops, these button hoops, and you can adjust it a little bit. So I have it on the second button. Not safe for work, obviously, but I would totally wear this to like a fashion event, brunch, definitely brunch appropriate. What isn't brunch appropriate? Um, super work appropriate stuff probably. <laughs> um, and yeah, and uh, I swapped out the gold Bottega Veneta dupe earrings for the silver. So I decided to switch up the look by swapping out the bottom and the shoes. And I don't know, y'all, I think I like this a little more. There's something about the further juxtaposition of a more casual bottom with this top. Again, this top is not formal, <laughs> clearly, but like I, I think the, the wrap detailing and like the trench or like the collar, I think like the lapel, folded down and it gives it kind of an a more i would say a more formal look or something you know you wear to work that's more work appropriate but then it's not clearly because it's cut out like in the front and the back but i like that these jeans really really make this look super casual but then i switch it up on you i put my thing down flipping that reverse it <laughs> if you know you know um and put some heels on to just even add a more elevated piece to the look. And so I feel like it's like, I love it. I love being casual, but then not at the same time. I love kind of like, it's that's street style. I feel like that's what street style is. A lot of street style is very much all casual, but some of it is mixing casual pieces with not so casual pieces or more formal, you know, evening wear or like event wear pieces. And I just love it. I love this look. Again, the, the shoes are very dressy and very interesting in that they're like, um, they have this curved heel, which adds more of a nice, interesting um, angle to the look. And then there's like the four or five tone colors um, that are, I think one, two, three, yeah, like five tones of colors that are in the shoe. Two of them are blue. And I think it just works really well with this look. The first look was more monochromatic. This one is still kind of monochromatic, but um, a little less, which still works. And yeah, I don't know, y'all. I really like this look. I think I like it a little more than the other one. The jeans are by J.W. Anderson and the shoes are by Dior. These are old. If you saw my shoe collection video, this is in part one. Part one or two. Watch both and then you'll find out. <laughs> but yeah, I just love this look. Let me know which is your favorite, which of the two you would wear. Or maybe like you'd be like me and wear both. Um, the jeans are in a size, <sighs> oof. These are true to size. I got these in a 27, which is like a US 4. So definitely get your true size. And I, they still have this available, so I'll link the ones I'm able to find below. And uh, JW Anderson is Loewe's creative director, 
love him and everything he does. He has his own brand that was kind of created way before his appointment at Loewe. And um, he still brings the goods, both to Loewe and to his own namesake brand. So that's what I call talent. These pants, they're like baggy. They're like part of this whole like um, horseshoe trend, I guess. I guess the cut is like a horseshoe cut, um, kind of like balloony. And I love it. You can style these with boots. You can style these with sneakers, heels like I have here. I think this would look really good with those loafers. The only thing is that they'll bulge a little bit at the at the bottom of the leg, and I feel like I wouldn't. I don't really think I like that look with this vibe. Um, but yeah, yeah. What do you think of the look? And I love that these are high waisted too. I love how they come up real high, and I love like how they're like kind of like asymmetrical. Like the zipper, the button fly is like asymmetrical. And then you could see like J.W. Anderson likes to put like anchors, that's like his thing, anchors. Um, so you see some of the anchor detail here. I recently wore um, in a few videos back, I think it was the last styling video, that I wore it with skirts, like skirts for the transitional season. And I wore a J.W. Anderson skirt there, it was a khaki skirt. And it also had this anchor um, like logo on there. And like this like stitching here gives it a really cool cut and it shapes the jean into that horseshoe shape you're seeing. And these, these jeans are, I think these jeans are pretty, they're pretty popular. I've seen a few other people wearing them and uh, I love it. Has like um, some pretty deep pockets in the front here. And then this pocket is functional, but it's like a top. You access it from the top on like the other one, which is a side access. I love, I love that they switched it up. I love that. Like that's part, part of what makes these jeans so fun and interesting. And then there's a singular back pocket. But yeah, love these jeans. Like I mentioned earlier, they're still available, so I'll link them for you all. But yeah, that's the look. So this next look here is Chef's Kiss. Like I just, I'm obsessed with this look. When I was putting it together, I didn't think much of it. I mean, I, I obviously thought, I, I knew it was gonna be a banger, but then when I put everything together, the shoes, the top, the pants, the shorts, the bag, and I went into the mirror and looked, I was like, this is a fashion week look. This is something I should be wearing to fashion week. So you might see me wearing this during Fashion Week. <laughs> um, but I already put the look together, I had the vision, and so I didn't want to change the outfit. Like, you guys will just see me wear it again because we do repeat outfits here. Nobody, I mean, I don't have the funds to wear things once or twice and then move on to the next new item, no. I, I also just love my things. So even if I did have the funds, I love my clothes. I buy things that I see myself wearing over and over and over again. So. That's just not what we do over here. We don't do the whole one, one and done thing. No, we, we have pieces for years and years and then we hope to pass it along to a loved one in the future. So that's what we do here. We meaning me. A car, okay. Um, but I love this look. So I'm wearing Valentino. This top is Valentino and so is the purse. And I just love the Valentino red. It's such a classic red. And I hope that Alessandro Michele continues that like the Valentino code colors, like this Valentino red and that Valentino pink, like those two colors are just so like distinct to the brand. So I just, I hope he keeps those colors in the pieces that he creates as the next or the current creative director. So that's the Valentino stuff. And then I have these Del Pozo shorts. One of my, I think these are my most favorite shorts of all time. I, I had them. I got them years ago, like everything is old here. This top isn't as old. I got it, I would say maybe two years ago, from the outlet. So I got it from the outlet. I think it's a size Italian 40, so US 4. The shorts are Spanish 
36 or 38, which is a US uh, 4 or 6. I believe they're a US 4, so they should be a Spanish 36, which is EU 36, and um, which is a 4, US 4. And the shoes are the Givenchy um, 4G logo, just, um, oh my god. These are, the these are the most fabulous, rare, like just standout shoes I own. These are by Givenchy, like I said, and they're the horn heel 4G sandal, I think is what they're called. And uh, I'm just waiting to get the heel top. Um, I don't know, I think I can only do one repair at a time. So until they fix my Fendachi, which I showed earlier, it's clearly not fixed yet. They did confirm with me that they had the part and they're shipping it over to the Versace Soho store. This is about, I would say, three and a half weeks ago. So I'm gonna give them a full month and then I'll follow up if I haven't heard from them, but I wanna get that done. <laughs> so it's, it, it's good that I'm getting updates. It's good that they have the part, the missing piece, they have it, they're gonna send it. They confirm that they have it and they're going to ship it. So I think it's en route right now and these things take forever. So I'm hopeful that they'll send it over soon. And then once I'm done getting that repaired, then I'll move on to the Givenchy, um, these Givenchy heels. But I kind of want them done for fashion month. That's not gonna happen because it's basically August and judging by how repairs work, I need at least a year to plan out when I'm gonna get the finally, final repaired product back to me. That's just being realistic. Anyway, I digress. And uh, I just love this look. It's so cute, like it's so cute. I can wear this on a date. Like if you wanna like have a date night that's more cutesy versus like sexy look. I feel like this would be the look for that vibe. And that's everything, right? I got my shoes from Saks Off Fifth year, like two years ago. Um, Paul Mendoza Choker. And uh, I got the Valentino bag from youth.com many years ago as well. It was a steal. Everything I get is a, is a steal.